I see you found the Unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the Unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Rowena Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. 
Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Volt, I mean, he who must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Philosopher's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Well now, it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor too. Good for you. 
I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go then, but be careful, there are some odd creatures about. Nice one, Harry. You've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. Have you heard the rumour? There's a troll on the loose around here. Smells worse than Percy's socks, and that's saying something. Wolf Spain. By Jupiter, you've done it, young Gryffindor! someone's making a move to steal the Philosopher's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw.
Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Called this monster Fluffy? Of course! Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though, he looks ferocious. Snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Stay back. It's the devil's snare. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. too close to those tentacles.
your Quidditch skills to practice. Good luck, Harry. The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry. But I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely.
The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry. But I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely.
It's waking up! Hang on, it's still groggy. I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Charm all of these objects out of its way. This one. Let's see what's next. Looks like you'll have to choose the cup that contains the knight and the shield. Did you see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. There's only one potion. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry.
I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Damn you, Potter! But, Master, it wasn't my fault. Give me the stone. I know you have it. Let me speak to him face to face. But Master, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hand over the stone. Die, Potter! 
Sparta. Dumbledore smiled. 
What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quill is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight.
Finally, let's see who will win this year's House Cup. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval, dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Albus Dumbledore, currently headmaster at Hogwarts, considered by many the greatest wizard of modern times. Professor Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945 for the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood and his work on alchemy with his partner Nicholas Flannel. Professor Dumbledore enjoys chamber music and 10-pin bowling. Rui Edgar Struger, 1703-1798, inventor of the Sneakoscope. <laughs> 